today's couple has reached a crossroads and she's ready to go her own separate way. After four years of his lies, financial instability, and him completely altering his physical appearance, this young lady is fed up. However, he's determined to win her back and wants my help. Let's see if there's any hope. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Christy Jemison and Devontae Daniels. The two of you have been together for uh, uh, four years, separated for the past six months. Ms. Jemison, you are done, through, sick of it, tired. You've had enough. Ms. Daniels, you, Mr. Daniels, you think you can save it. So that's Absolutely. what you're here to do. I'm going to start with you, Ms. Jemison. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Well, we're here today because I broke up with Devontae. Basically, I took care of him for three and a half years. Devante is a liar. Mm -hmm. He a cheater. He a bum. All he did was mooch off of me the whole relationship. Uh, but the most, the thing I'm most concerned with is the lies. Mm -hmm. I can't deal with it no more. One time, he told me he was going to Houston mm -hmm. to, for business. I asked what type of business. He wouldn't tell me. He said, you'll be so proud of me when I come back and I give you the news. I'm like, all right. So as a woman, I did my investigation. I found him in the hotel room. He posted a picture on the Facebook page, first of all. In the hotel room, and you could see a gold sandal next to him mm -hmm. with a woman's luggage bag on the bed. Mr. He... Daniels, what were you doing? I was there um, for my cousin's party. He was having a hotel party, and I was just there for moral support, Your Honor. Moral support at the party? Yes, ma'am. What about the job you said really? you were going to get? I was working on the job as well, but first things first, families first. Yeah, so it was more important to give your, your cousin moral support at the party. Is Business that what you're telling me? Party. That's no. what it is. Okay, no, no. wait. You, what other lies has he told you? <laughs> He lied about sending resumes to jobs. I, t I told him, I said, let me see. Let me see the email. He showed me, he sent me uh, the emails. I checked the send box, nothing. So who are you sending jobs to? I checked the history on the internet, nothing. Your Mr. Daniel? Lies. Your Honor, I'm old school. I'm not that tech savvy. I print what? them out and go hand them to the jobs myself. At 23? Yes. You old school? Yes. <laughs> Judge, he even lied about his age. Uh, when did he lie about his met, age? He told me he was 23 years old. Uh, I was actually 23. I would have never gave him a chance. How old was it? He was 19. Well, what were you trying to accomplish? Did you think she wouldn't date you if you, she knew your real age, which turns out to be the case? Yes, and I was right. So I, I felt like I went the right way about that. You were justified. Yes. Your Honor, the whole relationship was built on a lie. Right, yeah. So Let me like ask you this. Sense. You say not only was he a liar, and you figured that out, and you stayed with him, but you also said he was a liability to you and your work, and you told a, a story about the barbecue. Tell me about the barbecue. Judge, my work had a work-related barbecue that we went to. I told him, dress nice. And, you know, not like all suited up or nothing, but just like a little business casual mm -hmm. look. He wanted to put on a dingy wife beater and some shorts, and we're going to be in the park anyways. So I'm like, all right, once we get there, you see how everybody dressed. Everybody all dressed up in golf gear mm -hmm, right, right. and all of that stuff. He gone around getting drunk. It took him like 30, 45 minutes. He was already drunk. And then he went around asking all the dudes, which one of y'all sleeping with her? He always accused me of doing something while I'm at work because I dress nice going to work. I have to. Mr. Daniels, did that happen? Okay, I just want to start by saying um, it was a barbecue, so I took the... I just thought that's what you did. When people invite you to a barbecue, I did not know you put on golf wear. I thought you put on <laughs> barbecue wear, which would be sweats, t-shirts. Did she ask you to dress differently, though? Did she ask you? Did she say, she might watch have, what you wear? She might have said, I did. she might have And since it was up. her job, why wouldn't you accommodate her in that? I was still hung on, no lie. It was a barbecue. <laughs> it was a barbecue, Nick. <laughs> so he had on barbecue wear. I had on barbecue wear, exactly. He was dingy. While we're talking about your employment, you also say that his physical transformation from regular dude to pink dude. Judge, when I met him. Is 
is, is embarrassing to you. Yes. When I met him, he didn't look like that. What'd he look like? He looked normal, like a normal dude, you know, normal little shirt on with some Do you jeans. have a picture? It, oh, there he is, pictures. normal dude and this dude. How much did it cost you to become that dude? Over $2,500. $2,500? Yes. And, like, when you're 70, you know how that's going to settle out? Um, I'll let it... I'm all right with that. I'm all right with how That's because that's 50 years from now. Yeah, that's a long time. I got some time to regret that later. Okay, okay. Um, do you ever... Are you ever concerned that your physical appearance will somehow hinder your ability to become employed? No, because I am employed at the moment. What are you doing? I work for a very important motor company. So he's got a job now, right? I don't believe it. Huh? I don't believe You don't believe he has a job? No. I took care of him for almost four years. But you left him six worked. months ago. But he never worked. So where is he staying if he I doesn't have a job? job. Your Honor, I, I don't know. He a bum. Job. He can find I had, anybody with, with out her, there. I had a job. Where do you it live? It was a job myself to make sure she got up to go to her job. So we both didn't have jobs. You mean to tell you, tell me it took you all day to you get her to get work? You didn't get paid for that. Ah, uh, it took you all day to get her to work. No, I did not get her to work. I just made sure she went. <laughs> and that took all day. That's the part I'm trying to get to. No, it did not take all day. The rest of my day consisted of trying to find a job myself, Your Honor. Which you couldn't find for four years. Three and... Let's, th we'll th do three and a half. Three and, three and a half years. years. <laughs> OK. Well, Ms. Jeminson says that not only were you not working, but that you wouldn't do anything around the house while you were staying her... staying with her and not working. So that is why she feels taken advantage of. Awesome. And that is what we're going to discuss Next. I go to work, leave him a whole list of stuff to do. I get home, the house dirty. Him and his friends around there being bummed, having a bum fest. I'm like, why is my house not clean? They had a bum fest, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. They all bum. Before we move on to the finances and, 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 and work around the house. So I, I, I want to ask one last question about the tattoos. Yes, ma'am. Why? Which ones? So does each tattoo have a particular purpose? Yes. Tell me about the most purposeful tattoo you own. Would probably be my face tattoos. It was for my friend who died. He was murdered at a party. And it was the last words he said before the guy shot him. So what? I put it on my face. What, what were the words? God's got me. Excuse me? God's got me. God's got me? Yeah. That's the last thing he said before he got shot or before he died? Before he got shot. Before he got shot. Last words. And it was in his face, so I put it on my face. As reasons go, it's an excellent one. Mm -hmm. I must say. Yeah, I get that. I, I don't know if I'd have put it on my face, but I get that. Yeah. yeah I, I get that. You say that he doesn't walk around the house even though he didn't have a job. Explain that to me. I asked him to go run errands. I asked him to go get groceries. He don't want to do nothing. Like, I'll go to work, leave him a whole list of stuff to do. I get home, the house dirty. Him and his friends around there being bums, having a bum fest. I'm like, why is my house not clean? They had a bum fest, Nick. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. They all bum. When she goes to work, would you be at home having a bum fest? Ma'am, I don't even know what a bum fest is. I'm gonna assume <laughs> it's what she called me and my friends when she found us eating. Yeah. Now, three and a half years, though, would you... Would, do you think it's inaccurate to say that you did not carry your weight, that you didn't walk around the house? It wasn't clean when she got home. I wouldn't say that for every time I would... Try to clean as much as possible. I would try to clean as much as possible. Yes, ma'am. What does that... What was... What forces were you fighting <laughs> that made you had to make an effort as much as possible? It would be... Like somebody standing in front of that... that the, the sweeper. 
or stay in front of that dish rag saying, you can't touch it, you can't touch it, <laughs> and you gotta fight him to get your hands on it, get something clean. Is that what was going on? Not necessarily more of a lack of motivation to actually want to do it, I would I... probably say. And the rest would be trying to find jobs because she thought I was never looking. Uh-huh. But would really? she come home and your friends be over there and you playing games and the house was a mess? Would that occur? There might be a chip bag or two lying around <laughs> next to the consoles, yes, but no more than that. Three and a half years. I know, I'm stupid. That's a long time. <laughs> for a guy to be looking for a job, can't clean the house, tatting up his face, <laughs> eating chips. <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know, Judge. It's like, I try to give people chances. And after him keeps saying, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and I'm believing that he's sending out resumes and trying to get it together and stuff, it just, I just never saw it. And, and it's stupid that it took me three and a half years to realize, like, okay, I gotta do something about this. Like, he gotta go. Yeah. But when we first moved together, he said he had an injury, his shoulder. Uh-huh. Which I believed until later. Until now, I know that's... It's not true. It's Did you tell true. her you had an injured shoulder, but that wasn't quite true? I might have stated something in, the, in that area, but I don't think I, <laughs> that's what I fully said. I think she misinterpreted a, a, a couple pieces <laughs> out, of, out of that story. I told her it was hurting. I didn't say that's why I didn't have a job. I thought I didn't have a job because yeah. I quit my job. Uh, okay. All right. Now, hey, oh, oh, m m Mr. Daniels, never get on a witness stand. Um, <laughs> now I want to find out what you say she's doing wrong. You say she belittles you and makes you feel small and humiliates you. Yes. I want to know why you say that. Turn around and tell that woman something. Chrissy, I love you. Oh, you're not done with it. And I'm sorry for everything I did. Would you want your partner to ask for your approval before getting a face tattoo? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. So, Mr. Daniels, tell me how she humi humiliates you. She belittles me and she gets possessive at times. It's more of the belittling okay. when her coming home. Give me an example of, of, her. of what she's done to belittle you. When I come home and a chore, when she comes home and a chore isn't done, first thing she do is say, oh, what you didn't do? You didn't do nothing all day? You just bummy, extra bummy. You ain't got nothing going, this and that. That's all I hear every day when she come home. She's always fussing, pick this up, clean this up. And I ask for a little help. I just ask for a little help. If she could just help me, maybe vacuum or something like that. Oh, no, Why I'll... she got to go to work all day and then help, help you vacuum when, he gets, when you get home, when she gets home? How come you can't manage that yourself? Your Honor, I told you, I'll be spending half the day trying to find these jobs and the other half trying to keep the house clean for her because I know how she get. I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I either. don't get it at all. I mean, no disrespect over there, but it doesn't even sound good. It, it, it's not smooth. It's not it, it, not nothing. But I understand, Ms. Jemison. Now that you've seen the light, you want your money back. I want my money back. Talk to me about your money. First of all, Yana, I have a list. And I have the total amount of money that we can start Did you with. believe he owes you? Yep. Your Honor, I want... H hang on, look, turn around and take a look at what you think. Rent, 27,000, food, 7,400, entertainment, five grand, clothes, shoes, 4,000, utility bills, 3,600, uh, pocket money, two... Th you gave him pocket money? Mm. Your Honor, she... Gas, $1,200 in video games, $800. Yep. Total expenses, $51,000. That's to start. That's to start. To start. Over the course of three years. Yep. She's out of her mind, Your Honor, if she think I'm gonna give her that back. <laughs> I just started working. I just started getting on my feet. Um, what I could offer her is to get her on my bank account, and we share, but I am not... Uh, I'm so not you're going. offering her... I'm offering an her... An opportunity to share in the current 
of my... Uh, the, the fruits of your current labor, is that yes, accurate? Because, yes, because I am now eating very well. <laughs> so you want her back? I want her back, yes. Give me your best. Turn around and tell that woman something. Do you mind? I know. Go right ahead. Can I back your hand? Chrissy, I love oh, you. Oh, you're not done with it. And I'm sorry for everything I did. And I want you back. Will you take the kid back? One last time. Look at you. Two good sentences and you're toast. I'm not all the way there. Oh, yeah, y'all. I saw, I, I, I saw your eyes tear up. I saw you grin when he came in your direction. I'm a, I'm a human, man. Your I'm Honor, a, like... I'm a changed man, Your Honor. What changed you? Merely, I was just a little boy when we met. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now a full-grown man. I'm shocked, stunned, and left wordless. <laughs> I'll try to compose myself and come back. Say something intelligent. So clearly, you know, I can't give, I can't award you $51,000 because you willfully did that. You gave him money every day. He came home, you came home, he was doing the very same thing and you kept supporting him and you kept paying his stuff. You know, if you were my daughter, you and I'd be on the floor fighting for three years about what you're doing with this dude. I think that ladies take too much too long for no particular reason at all. And I think that the only reason he got a job is because you finally kicked him to the curb and, and he figured out that he had to support himself. My concern is you take him back, he'll no longer feel that pressure, and the next thing you know, he's Mr. Pink on the couch with the chips and his buddies. That's my, that would be my concern. Mr. Mr. Daniels, yeah. I hope you can make a liar out of me. I don't think she's done with you. I, I think she should be done with you. I don't think if you take him back, he, he needs to be out and about and on his own for at least a year. He should have some money in the bank. He should be able to show you some yeah. bank records. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hush. <laughs> I don't want to hear a thing. You know, because I know you're going to do it. But if you're going to do it, do so intelligently. Don't, pay, don't give him no money for nothing. No pocket money, no games, no buddies, no none of that. He's got to carry his weight and half of yours, too, if he wants you. Not just 50-50, half of your weight, too. You, they, they'll do as much as you let them get away with. Don't let them get away with it. I don't know how you did get away with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't I know if you got heart. some good game somewhere that you simply couldn't find today. Now peace on a thousand, you But, uh, but, but, uh, I mean, I don't get it at all, but I hope you prove me wrong. I will do that. You, you, you've been lying all your life. That's what you do professionally. It's my biggest issue. Yeah. I'd stay away. That's just me. Your Honor. Out the door. Not see him again. You see a streak of pink coming down the street. <laughs> Pull the blinds down. Duck behind the couch. So he can't see you that you're home. <laughs> and then find something better to do. That's what I would do. It's a $51,000 lesson. I certainly hope you learned it. This matter is adjourned. You said you're, you're a grown man now. Yes, no longer a kid. I'm a man now. All right, my man. Uh -huh. Good luck to you. Hey, thanks, man. All right. Take care. <laughs> That's the pink.